Okay, welcome back into today's video. Boy, I tell you what, we got a good one for you today. We got a little bit of the Yonder Ray Dev. We're gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about a little bit of poppy symbolism, and I tell you, it's just gonna be the greatest. All that and more as the rep reports. So coming from Glitch Cloud, he couldn't send it through, so Cal sent it to me. You know Cal's our good buddy uh, that was on the live stream the other day. Uh, sent me this. It, it's Yandere did response to uh, his own Gremlin video. Let's check that out. So this is a response to a Reddit message somebody sent. It said, it kind of hurts to look at being dehumanized into the stereotypical ideology isn't exactly a good thing for a developer to do. Uh, take all this from a fellow game dev. Good luck with Yandere Simulator. I know you can do it. Now this is coming from directly another game dev uh, talking to him about how he kind of just called everybody gremlins. I'm a gremlin. Well, I mean, we, this is the gremlin rep squad, right? So he responded with a gremlin is a stalker, doxer, harasser. A gremlin is a person who goes out of their way to try to ruin another person's life. A gremlin dehumanizes themselves by doing things that are inhumanly cruel. The above description does not apply to critics. Critics are just offering feedback. I have no problem with critics, only stalkers and doxers and harassers. However, the above description gremlin does apply to yonder ray data digger. I don't have much sympathy for people who harm others for fun. So this is the first time that I feel like he's actually directly uh, said anything about Yandere Data Digger and her behavior towards him. A lot of people have a lot of uh, strong opinions about Yandere Data Digger. I would like to hear your opinions in the comment section below. But what I'm seeing is, is that it's an overgeneralized uh, terminology because when I, when I think of Gremlin, this is what I see. Like I said, my main problem with the whole Gremlin video is that he narrated it from the perspective that he used the uh, character of a young woman uh, to appeal to uh, his younger fans. And it just seems like at this point, with all the things that have been going wrong, all he had to do was sit down, maybe a, a more personal setting, maybe just his phone, and he say, hey, I'm sorry these things happened, uh, I'm only human. But instead of doing something that seems just so simple that could that could do wonders and reach his audience, he, he does these uh, videos and I, I, I don't like that. Over on the Redzo Twitter, another thing that was sent to me was uh, Poppy's uh, symbolism in her most recent Poppy X video. Hey Rep, I hate to point out some bad things, but have to say how Poppy's team got her to celebrate blood. Who? One week before Memorial Day, when we use Poppy's to commemorate. Spilling of blood is terrible, not a joke. Now it does seem very strange, and I really didn't think about this, but this was very close to Memorial Day, and it was it was uh, very bloody in there, and it does make kind of sense that we we do use poppies to commemorate in wartime settings. Now I want to be very clear: this could definitely be a reach, uh, as the comments say. I haven't seen this video, but the picture reminds me of Carrie. It kind of does. Ted's head says, I think the hypothesis would be stronger if they released the video on uh, Remembrance Day instead of a week before. Poppies are worn in the U.S. and Memorial Day in May, not Veterans Day. The majority of Poppies fans base in the U.S. That's 350 million who won't get it. And Ted's head knows a lot about this whole Poppy scenario, so he's the guy to know. Um, I'm going to go with him on that side, but I, the reason I wanted to bring this is up because it is kind of a coincidence, and I wanted to see what you guys think about it. So why don't you let me know below all right guys this is big covert disclosure 411 you guys asked me uh to reach out to this guy to figure out what's going on this dude has got some crazy uh tweets now a lot of people at first thought this was an arg but some of the things that he was saying uh that were happening he said before they actually happened like he would say these things and the news would bring it out and it's really crazy so apparently this dude is a uh, a government agent like a man in black and he's uh, a whistleblower so he's actually blowing the whistle on some really crazy things and we're talking demons we're talking about otherworldly things cryptids uh, like some crazy things well I reached out to him and he's agreed to do an interview with me so I'm gonna ask him some questions about these things you guys should definitely check it out I'm gonna leave his link in the description below and let me know what kind of questions you specifically want to know. I have my questions ready and I'm going to be reaching out to them with them and you'll want to have notifications turned on. You're going to want to be subscribed because this is going to be big. It's going to be crazy, guys. 
And the last thing I want to talk about is I've really been uh, talking to a lot of uh, female streamers and a lot of cam girls and uh, they're listening to their concerns, their issues, their struggles that they've been going through. And this seems like something that nobody wants to touch. Like we've heard about how female streamers have it bad. Like there's a whole stigma against it and they're being objectified. They're going through the ringer, but we've not heard so much from cam girls. Um, uh, nude models and things like that in the pornographic industry and I can see why because no youtuber wants to touch this because they're afraid of demonetization they're afraid of these things but these people are humans too these people are, are humans too that are going through things and their stories need to be told and I've reached out to a lot of them and a lot of people are reaching back to me and I'm hearing their stories and I'm thinking I want to get together with everyone and I want to I want to make a video maybe even a documentary uh, talking about this type of thing because I think this stuff needs to be talked about uh, the struggles they're going through the industry can be rough and some people are looking down on uh, these girls and I don't think that's right I understand why youtubers haven't been covering this but I feel like this is uh, a large demographic that is just being overlooked for the wrong reasons just because that you feel like uh, it's going to get demonetized or you just feel like it's wrong or not family friendly is no reason to uh, just push them to the side and say I can't do this so I've took it upon myself to take on this challenge so if you are a cam girl a female streamer and you want uh, to talk to me about those types of things please reach out to me Twitter DMs uh, comment section below let me know and I will talk to you about this because as interesting as this is there's always something that's more interesting to me that's right you guessed it I want to know what you think so much go ahead and leave your creative and interesting responses in the comment box below thumbs up to those likes as always brothers and sisters I will see you in the next video I mean it's crazy I, I love uh, first off I do want to say something I'm extremely proud of the Patreon. The Patreon is blowing me away with the support. We're meeting uh, milestone after milestone. You guys are really believing in the vision. The last live stream was just hopping. Um, I've been putting in so much work and you guys have been noticing. I've been doing it every day, back to back. And uh, we had almost 200 viewers in the other day's live stream. It was just a regular live stream. We've got the Christmas tree up because we do that in early November and I'm just feeling the spirit. I'm loving everything. Uh, I, I just want to thank everybody. I know a lot of you guys are new subscribers. I really appreciate you for following and sticking around and just really putting your belief into me. It fills me with the energy. And I know that you're repping if you're not repping your gang. And how do you become a member of the Rep Squad? All you gotta do is subscribe to the notification channel. Be in the comment section after every single video because I'm gonna be there. Greg the Cat's gonna be there and the rest of the Rep Squad it is going to be as well and I expect to see you there too because this channel loves you <laughs> partner I, I know it's a cowboy hat okay I know